The Old Peoples, Retro J, Jesoteric, and Jacob. And many more characters to come. To come at New Moon today. Well, not today, tomorrow, but we're in the energy now. Um, I just want to talk about some enlightenment that came in um, following this New Moon energy, I guess. Uh, correlating astrology with like rap or battle rap or even singing but anything that just I, I've come to the realization of how we subconsciously channel like the elements which is why astrology works in the first place but like people have been realizing their responses like when I'm watching battle rap for example because I love it when when a, when a, when a rap when they when they say a line like I was just watching this two on two battle tag team battle and it's like one guy would say would say a line but then the the, the, the way they would transition is like one person would say po and then the next guy would say tree and then it would apply to the person in front of them and that the narrative that surrounds them and their character and their persona and the whole battle rap community and it was just genius but every time some one would come in with the end with the ending of a sentence everyone would respond i.e the moon and say oh that was crazy like even me i'm like that's crazy that's crazy if you react like that, that's Uranus energy. When it just catches you completely off guard, but it's genius and it makes so much sense, that's that Aquarius, Aquarian Saturn Uranus rulership right there, where it's, it's so different, but it's real. It's reality. And then you got things where that, that make people, like, that's pure performance. Like, the way, the way they say something, the conviction behind it, that's the fire element in general. But... You'll find in battle rap or when you're listening to rap, you hear something and it's it's like, mm, it gives you that mm, energy. That's Mars right there. That's Mars energy. If it's that pure aggression, it's not really a bar. It's not, there's no trickery around it. There's no wordplay, which is Mercury. Um, yeah, that's Mars. That's that's when someone's doing that. Or it's, 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 it's improvisation energy kind of thing. Or they're, they're literally being so honest about what they will do right here and now to you. <laughs> And then we've got uh, the sun energy, which is performance, pretty much, and just pure creativity. When you can paint a picture, when you can paint a picture, but it's it's still easy to grasp, but it's very enlightening as well, you know? It paints a, a consistent image in your head that you've always probably seen, but you never saw it that way until that person brought it to light. Like, my favourite is Loaded Lux. Like, he says something about... Uh, Oh, he had a whole scheme about new. Oh, what's it? Morris Code brought in. Ah, oh, pulling up at the side of a road against his opponent, and making them making them pull up, and then he's gonna skirt off, and then he says something about, oh, this is offset. This is offset talking to Quavo about a bad ad lip. <clears throat> See right here, is where you take that skirt off. I'm like, bro, what? Just the way he said that shit, and the way he delivers it, and he knows that they're gonna think it's fire, and that's how everyone responded. That's fire. That's fire. That's the sun energy. That's Leo. He's a Leo moon even. And then you got Jupiter energy. You'll find in battle rap as well. There's the battle rappers that like to paint pictures. They tell a story when they rap. So then they, it's like a flow behind it as well. That's that mutable Jupiter Pisces Sagittarius kind of energy where Pisces is more so reflecting emotions that everyone goes through in our, in our human experience. And Sagittarius is more so reflecting uh, things that we've seen and that we felt, but that we move on from anyway, because it happens to all of us, you know? But you, you have to go through the story. And it's like, as the story, it built, it has a build up to it. It has a build up, build up, build up. So, or it and it has a meaning behind it, a purpose, uh, a overall kind of, yeah, a broad perspective. And that's also fire as well. It's like there's little things in it, little things in it that you can you can grab, you can grab, grab, grab. And then you got the lines that are super like technical or intelligent, like you have to really think hard about it. That's like Mercury, Virgo, Gemini. Especially Virgo is really like on some breakdown, but real realistically break you down and the changes that have happened, what's occurred, all of that. Because all the mutable signs of every element show you the broad perspective of that element. The changes that happen, the transition. The, like Dolo says, the transpiration. Trans, how things transpire, basically. Because mutables is the end, of, they, they're the end of their season. Mutables show people how to, how to welcome death or, and, and move into transformation and transformative states. Which is why mutable energy is related to magicians and 
uh, wizards and all that kind of shit. They're molding every, bringing everything together. So it's a masterful kind of energy. Um, and yeah, so that's Mercury. Wordplay is Mercury. Have I covered anything else? Yeah, the moon would be things that just appeal to your emotions, like, um, damn the fuck. <laughs> the moon would be anything that appeals to your emotions, and that could be in song form. But it, it, it's a it's a vibe. It's a it has a vibe behind it, and and it's hitting close to home as well. Like it's something that really you felt that's happening in your family close to like, what the fuck. Is this person live with me with the hell. It's that kind of energy. But how would people respond to that? It'll be like, ah, oh, ah, oh. it's that, <laughs> it's that kind of energy. That's how people normally react. And then to the Mercury situations, people normally react with that, like, mmm, mmm, mmm. Like they're still analysing it. They get some of it, but they're still more to piece together. Yeah. And they talk a lot about gassing and battle rap when things just make people go crazy. Yeah, that's Uranus energy again. When there's just so much air building up in the room, there's so much. Hmm. Yeah, and the Jupiterians are good at showing you how to build on energy and how to use the room to your advantage and and create like an ultimate move kind of thing. But yeah, hopefully that was like a nice breakdown of, I guess, music or how the elements play out in rap form or musical form. <laughs>